here we want to graph another square root function. So square root of x minus 4 and then minus 2 is outside the square root. So for the leftmost point, what's the smallest thing I could put in here? Let's see. I'll go horizontal with my table because I got more room down here. So I could put in 4 because notice this minus 2 isn't in the square root. So if I do 4 minus 4, that would give me square root of 0. So if I do x is 4, it gets square root of 0, but then there's still this minus 2. So I get negative 2. And so now I just want to pick a couple more points that hopefully if I can give me perfect squares. So if I do 5, I get 5 minus 4, so square root of 1 minus 2. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that was when I put 5 in there. Then I could do 6, but notice I have square root of 2, which won't work out nicely. 7 will give me square root of 3, but then maybe 8 for x will give me 8 minus 4, so square root of 4. And square root of 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 2, so 0. Alright, then one more. Let's think, what could we subtract 4 off of and still get a perfect square? Well, the next perfect square is 9, so maybe if I try to use 13. So 13 minus 4 will give me 9. Square root of 9 is 3 minus 2. And so that is 1. And so now notice I have my leftmost point. 4, negative 2, and then I have three other points. So 4, negative 2 is over 4, down 2. Running into my graph here. So we'll write down the points. So we have 4, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 8, 0, and 13, 1. Just from this table so I can make myself some room. Alright, so 4, negative 2 is over 4, down 2. 5, negative 1 is over 5, down 1. 8, 0, and then 13, and up 1. And so notice all these have the same basic kind of half parabola shape. It's just kind of a matter of where they start and then getting enough other points to get the idea of where the graph goes.